In this video, we're going to be looking at a hardcover copy of the Evangelical Heritage Version Bible. I've done a look at this translation in another video if you'd like to check that out. But you can get hard copies of this. Uh, they have the hardcover edition. They also have a deluxe edition, which is in a black bonded leather. So that's another option. But this hardcover edition is very affordable. It's about $23 on their website. The bonded leather version, I believe, is around $60. So that is an upgraded edition of this. But if you are looking to get a copy, a hardcover is always a nice option. So this has, I guess, what I would call more of a burgundy color. And here's the spine on it. Not a busy spine, not a lot on there, but it looks very nice. The front has Holy Bible and the translation on the bottom. And then they do have multicolored head and tail bands. Also looking at the text block here, you can see the uh, page signatures. So that looks like it's Smithsonian with glue reinforcing it. The bonded leather edition also will have a ribbon marker and gold gilt page edges. The hardcover edition though, as is typical, is just a pretty plain edition. So the construction inside is, you know, really what you would expect from a hardcover. Here's the title page. Then the publisher title page. Some people ask why there's two title pages. And I think you can see here the difference. This is just the Bible title page. And then they will usually have another title page with more information, like the publisher here. So I call this the publisher title page. And then here is the copyright information, if you'd like to look at that. This is copyrighted from 2019. And this printing is from 2019. Here are the contents, a preface, an introduction. The philosophy of this translation, I would equate it a lot like the Christian Standard Bible, similar in its approach. But I do like that this Bible has a lot of information in it about the translation. And there is an appendices section, which I think goes along with that introduction. So that's the append appendices to the introduction. Then you have the Old Testament title page. And getting into the Bible, this, from what I could tell, was around a 10 point, maybe a little bit larger than 10 point font size. It's single column. And 10 point is very readable, I would say. It doesn't look like it's line matched, but the paper is relatively thick. It's quite opaque. So even though it's not line matched, I don't think that's too much of a problem. Then on the bottom here, you do see translator notes. So it's a great read through Bible. If you just want to get familiar with this translation, this would be a great addition to have just to read through the Bible. And if you like it a lot, you could get the deluxe version. Getting into the poetry section, you'll see, again, with it single column, it is in stanza setting. Looks very nice. You can see they do have a lot of headings. And that just helps you to kind of understand how things are organized as you're reading through the Bible. As long as you understand the headings are not inspired. Let's look at the New Testament. So at the end of the Old Testament, you'll see now we have a New Testament title page. And the words of Christ are still in black letter. 
I do like the design of this format. It is single column. There's good line spacing. There's a line at the top of the page separating the heading, which tells the chapter and the book that you're in, all of that information. And then also a little line here separating the text from the footnotes. So it just has a nice spread out look to it. It doesn't look cramped. And I think that really actually helps with readability and reducing eye strain. And also just, it's easier to find things when the page is not all packed in with too much stuff on the page. So we'll get to the end of the Bible here. And after the book of Revelation, you have one, two blank Bible sheets, and then a thicker piece of paper here, like a light cardstock, and then your paste down sheet here on the hardcover. And that's it. The only thing I want to compare this to, just so you have some frame of reference, is a CSB single column personal size Bible. This will just give you an idea of how big this Bible is in comparison to this single column personal size from Holman. And you can see their similar thickness, but the EHV Bible is a bit larger. It's a little thicker and it is a little taller and wider as well. So that gives you a size comparison. When you look inside, you can see the CSB, they did a really good job of getting everything into a smaller format, even smaller than this. And it's still very nice looking, very readable. But both are nice and have a similar size font, I would say. So I would say this is designed a little bit better. The design, I believe, is from 2K Denmark, so that's not surprising. Nevertheless, this EHV hardcover is still very nice, usable, great read-through Bible. So if you're looking for a physical copy of the Evangelical Heritage version, this might be something that you would like to get. If you have any other comments or questions about this Bible, feel free to leave that in the comment section. Thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.